Hello all, welcome to this new lesson. In the previous lesson, we learned how to write a C program to print hello world on the screen, isn't it? In this lesson, I'm going to give you an overview of what do you mean by data type, what do you mean by variable, and what do you mean by constant. Though this won't uh, be an in-depth coverage of data types, variables, and constants, I feel starting off with basic idea of data type, variable, and constant is very important. In the upcoming lessons, I would be going in detail about different kinds of data types and different kinds of uh, constants in depth. So let's start this lesson with a basic idea of data type variable and constants. Okay. So having said that, first question is, what do you mean by a data type? Data type will indicate the compiler how much of memory has to be allocated for a variable associated with it. Let me repeat, data type will indicate to the compiler as to how much of memory has to be allocated for a variable associated with it. Okay. Now, what do you mean by a variable? Variable is a name given to a specific memory location on the RAM. Right. And the third one, what do you mean by a constant? Constant is a data that gets stored into the memory. I understand that you would be confused by uh, listening to these terminologies. So I thought, let me explain these once again with an example. As you can see, there is a statement on the screen which says int a is equal to one semicolon, right? So here we have all the three things that we discussed. We have a data type, we have a variable, and we have a constant as part of the statement int a is equal to one semicolon, okay? So what does the statement do? This statement does three things. First thing is that it will allocate some amount of memory on the RAM and then after allocating some amount of memory, it will associate or it will give a name to this specific memory location and the name is A. And after allocating a memory and giving a name to this memory location, it stores the data one onto this memory, right? So these are the three operations that gets carried out uh, using the statement int A is equal to one, right? Now in this statement, which is called as a data type, which one is called as a variable and which one is called as a constant? Let's discuss. The term int, as you can see on the screen over here, int is called as a data type, okay? So there are several other kinds of data types. So for the sake of this example, I'm just considering int for now. In the upcoming lessons, I will be showing you about different types of data types. For now, let us just stick on to int, okay? So int is a kind of data type which will tell the compiler to allocate four bytes of memory location. Okay, so technical side, int can either be two bytes or four bytes. For now, for the example sake, I'm just considering as four bytes, okay? So int is actually called as a data type or it is one of the data types which indicates the compiler to allocate four bytes of memory location. So let me redraw this diagram once again. Let me redraw this diagram once again, okay? So having said that, so int is one of the data types which will indicate the compiler to allocate four bytes of memory location. So this data type is the one which is responsible to tell the compiler how much of memory has to be allocated, okay? Now, after allocating so much of memory, right? So this A says, right? So A is basically called as a variable, right? So what is a variable? As I told you earlier, variable is nothing but a name associated to the to a specific memory location on the RAM, right? So after allocating four bytes of memory, we give it a name. As we know that on the RAM, memory addresses will be in hexadecimal number system, right? So it becomes very difficult for the programmers to remember hexadecimal number system while doing the coding part. So for that reason, we actually give a name in terms of English variables, right? So we call it as English names and English names in C language, we call it as variables, right? So basically A is now called as a variable, right? So int is a data type, A is a variable, which is nothing but a name given to a specific memory location on the RAM, okay? Now, then we have this data called as one, okay? And one is called as a constant. One is called as a constant. This is the data which gets stored onto this variable, right? So one gets stored into this memory location, which has been referenced by the variable A. So this is what happens with the statement int A is equal to one semicolon, right? So let me repeat once again, data type will indicate the compiler as to how much of memory has to be allocated for the variable associated with it. Once the memory is allocated, 
we give a name to that memory location and that is called as a variable right so in our example a is the name given to a specific memory location and once we create the memory we allocate the data or we store a data into that memory location and that data is called as a constant in our example the constant is one okay we call it as a constant because one cannot be changed okay because one anywhere is only one you cannot change one right now whereas we call a as a variable because we can change the value of this particular memory location for example after saying int a is equal to one in the next line i can say a is equal to two semicolon it means i am telling that or i am instructing to store or replace the already existing value of one with two so what happens is that this variable's value will get changed to two right so because this memory location keeps changing we call this construct as a variable okay which says it varies right so these are the three important things that is very common in any programming languages you take any programming languages these three things comes in common one is data type the other one is variable and the third one is constant okay so having said that you can see one more extra thing called as you know equal to so this is called as an assignment operator in c language so i will be discussing about assignment operator in a separate lesson called as operators until then have no worries for now understand that this assignment operator is used to indicate to store the right hand side constant into the variable which is there on the left hand side of this operator okay so as semicolon is used for uh, terminating a particular statement therefore i'll repeat once again data type is used to indicate the compiler as to how much of memory has to be allocated for the variable associated with it and a is nothing but a variable so variable is nothing but a name given to a specific memory location okay and its value keeps changing okay or it, its value can change over a period of time as i showed you in an example over here and one is a constant okay it's the data which gets stored into the memory allocated by the compiler okay so i hope you understood what is the difference between a data type variable and a constant okay so in the upcoming lesson i would be discussing more about the different kinds of constants and different types of data types available okay so uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this lesson okay so if you like this lesson then don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel so that you will get my uh, other updates on the same c programming series also if you want to get immediate updates on my upcoming lessons and all that please don't forget to click on the bell icon okay so meet you in the next lesson until then take care bye bye love you all so much